everyone, Rick here with the Ditch Pig. Today, what we're going to be looking at is this alternator. Ta-da! Here's the deal. I uh, got this from the guy I bought the motor from, the uh, LS. He uh, brought it over for me to put on because when I did this swap, this alternator is a two-pin alternator. Okay, it's got the plug here in the back, which you can see I'm not using it because it doesn't do anything unless it's hooked up to a computer. Um, as far as I know, anyway, I'm no expert. But uh, the computer is what actually regulates it. Um, so when you do hook it up, it'll work, it'll charge, but it only gives you like 13 and change for volts. So I'm gonna swap it out to that other alternator, which if you put a resistor in it, they say like a 470 or 490 resistor, put that in line into a, a keyed 12 volt source. It will, when it's running, it will show a draw and it will charge properly and give you the full voltage. Um, I've been running into issues. I run two batteries because I have an inverter in the truck and I've been running into issues where uh, the battery isn't charged up enough. Um, every once in a while I throw the charger on it, top it up so it's good and then yeah it gets lower and lower and lower uh, and if I go to use it anything under demand like if I'm spooling the wench using the inverter um, yeah it's it's going below 12 like pretty consistently so that's what we're doing today we're gonna get that swapped up uh, I don't have a resistor, so I'm going to just put a light in between. I've heard people say that they do that before, so I'm going to give it a try. So, we're going to move all this stuff out of the way, pull this out, and put the alternator on. Let's see if we can get it to give me uh, 14 uh, point something for voltage. And then uh, that will solve that issue. Okay, we got the alternator off. Uh, as you can see, two pin. This is the plug of the other one, four pin. But I only see two uh, wires coming out of it, so whatever. It's got to do with the voltage regulator, I guess. So with this one, uh, it mounts like this. All right, so if you're looking, this second one from the left is the wire that you need to put the 12 volt to. Um, so I've heard. So we're gonna give that a shot. I'll mount this, wire that up to a key 12 volt source and I'll put like a, I don't know, like a marker light bulb or something like that. I'll tie one of those in between it and uh, to a keyed switch. So when it gets power, Bob's your uncle, it works. Let's see if it uh, pans out for us. Okay, so everything's geared up. The alternator's in, belt's on. Get this plugged in, hooked a couple wires to it, follow all the way down. This is a hot wire when the key's on. I know it's like a massive gauge. I might find something up here closer so I can just run it along and not have it cut across here. But um, yeah, this will do the trick. So let's just see what happens when we start it up. Okay, so you can see here, 
we're at 11.9 volts, right? Uh, like say 13.2, maybe as low as 13 if I was to turn on the heater or headlights, something like that, right? So I'm gonna start her up here. One and like say the battery's down a bit probably so we'll label that as a success wake it okay so that wraps that video up I uh, just want to thank uh, Jared for supplying the alternator appreciate that uh, like I say, it's a success. We have uh, 14 volts, 14.2 volts at an idle. So uh, before I was lucky to get 13.2 when it was uh, shut down at uh, non-regulated voltage because it wasn't hooked up to the computer. Um, the only thing I got left to do is uh, wire this up a little better. I'm gonna put some heat shrink on it. They're just wrapped together right now loosely with black tape over them. This one's got nothing on it right now, so. I will probably try and wire it up in here just to something that uh, is a little easier to get to and not having to cut across here. Uh, this tan colored wire on the plug, I assume I can just cut that off and that's it. Uh, it's the brown one on this particular one. This alternator is, uh, the, two, the four pin one is 2005 and under. So maybe 2005 is the same as this, but I know the one that's on my Yukon is an 06 and it's the same. So, so I'll hold on to that other alternator uh, just in case this one craps out and I need something that day kind of thing. Throw it back on. It'll, it'll give me the, you know, the 13 volts and, and keep the thing going. So. so yeah, thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, comment. We'll see you in the next video, which will be... Uh, more on this headlight, so I'm gonna get them wired up. I'll probably start that today and try and get some footage on it. Uh, almost supper time, it's pizza night, so I probably won't work too much on it. Tomorrow's supposed to rain, but maybe I'll nose the thing into the garage and try and get some of that wiring done in here for it. And uh, yeah, what I'm gonna do is one side will be wired up, the other side will be how it is factory, and I'll just do like a nighttime light comparison just to show the difference, but uh, yeah, see you in the next video.